Do, 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 do. Today is the day. It's computer build day. It's so exciting. I just woke up. It's 1130. I woke up like 15 minutes ago. So I'm very excited. But if you're just here for the computer build, I got some stuff I got to get done first. So I'll link it down below because one of the first things I need to do is make this desk so it can actually fit a desktop computer because like there it is. Here it is. That that ain't gonna work. Also, I did rearrange this stuff over here. I will go through everything in depth, in depth, as to what I have in a bit, but for now it's there. And then I also need to get my TV down from there to act as my monitor in the meanwhile. I did spend a bit of time yesterday just kind of cleaning and tidying and organize, organizing it. Wow, English is hard this morning. And organizing it so it wouldn't be as hard, but I'm probably going to get dressed, have my breakfast drink over here, make my bed so I can put the boxes that aren't in use up there and like move my laptop and everything. So it's gonna be a bit of a process before we can get this a very exciting build started. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm not feeling stressed. I'm not feeling excited right now. I'm just like right in the middle and I don't know if that's a good place to be, but we will see. Anyways, gotta take care of a few things first and then we'll start moving things and um, see how it goes. Alrighty, my bed is made. Just ignore the blanket that I just threw over there. It's fine and I am dressed and now it is time to start moving all these beautiful pieces from my desk to here because <laughs> I need to move this stuff to here and then that to there. So we're gonna get on that. I got a confession. Been losing all momentum. But just because it's easy. But that don't make it better. Okay, so I think my very lazy prep last night definitely helped because that didn't take too long at all. And the desktop is clear. We have space to do the building. But before I do that, I want to go over all the parts I have and the cost. Um, <laughs> because for me, when I was looking at videos of people doing builds, they were all US prices. And so obviously I ended up spending way more Canadian because exchange rate and etc. <laughs> So anyways, I'm gonna go over all the pieces um, before we get building and then we're gonna start building. I watched or I read an article yesterday because I was like, what's the best way, the most ideal way to build a computer from scratch? Because while I've like replaced all the parts, I've never done a motherboard and CPU, so I just want to see. So I think I got it, but we'll go over all the pieces <laughs> and then we'll get to the building. <laughs> One of the first things I bought was my case, which is the Be Quiet Pure Base 500. And let me tell you, the cable management, speaking after the fact, is amazing. I, I love it. Another important item was my power supply, so I went with the Scold rated Cougar power supply. For my motherboard, I went with the ASRock B450M Steel Legend. I had no idea it lit up when I bought it, to be honest, but it's cool. For my CPU, I went with the Ryzen 7 3700X. This was a little hard to find, and I definitely flipped and flopped back and forth on uh, what I wanted, but I think I'm gonna be happy with this one. And then the graphics card. This was by far the hardest thing to find, and it's not as powerful as I would have liked, but you know what? I got one in the end, and I think it's gonna serve me pretty well. I started with just buying one set of this RAM, and then I decided to just go for broke and get two. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that decision. I ended up starting with a P2 on my list, but I actually found this P5 for a really great price, and I think it's gonna do better for all the video editing I do, so I was pretty jazzed. Okay, we're making progress. I'm sorry the lighting is so terrible, but it is what it is. Anyways, this little tiny screw right here was like the bane of my existence. I forgot that tiny screws suck, 
but the new bane of my existence is putting in RAM. There we go, fix the lighting a bit, because RAM fits real tight, which is obviously a good thing. <laughs> Even fits tight into its plastic thing, and I need to get four of these in. My friend built a computer, whoops, wrong way, a couple years ago, and um, I do recall the biggest struggle was the RAM. There we go. The nice thing is at least they click into place once they're in place. <laughs> okay, two down, two to go. The neat thing about this RAM is you see the top, it's going to light up. Assuming I've done everything right. All right, number three. Okay, they're getting easier as I'm like getting used to the level of pressure I need to put on them to get them in. And number four. Nope, that's the wrong way. There we go. All four are in. <sighs> Stressful. <laughs> We've definitely had a couple hiccups to get to this point. Um, the first one was you saw me remove like these little plastic bits here. Um, so step one, I didn't have a screwdriver out yet because I'm an idiot. So I removed them and then I realized as I was looking through manual and like looking at this, I'm like, it's not gonna fit because I was looking at the part for a different type of fan if you were installing it. This one, which has like the spring loaded tension kind of thing here, needed those plastic pieces. So I had to put them back on, that's fine. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know where this other thing goes. So I think I've got it in the right spot. Makes sense, this is for the lighting. So I think we're good for that. And then the screw just kind of sucked. That was really the only problem. And then you saw me with the RAM. I think I'm actually now at the point where I can put this into the base. I just need to confirm, but I think this can go in the base now because I've got the major components in place except for the graphics card, but that's something I'm going to want to put in once I get it mounted in so then I can also screw it into the case. So give me a couple and I'll be back with either putting things together or talking about what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm feeling confident, which is fantastic. I'm feeling really good about what I've done so far. The only thing that I'm not 100% sure about is this cable to light up the fan, but I think it's in the right spot. I'm pretty sure it's in the right spot on the motherboard. Slightly less confident that it's in the right spot on here. It wouldn't fit in there, so I know that's not the right spot, but I'm wondered if that should be the right spot. Also, screen lens dirty. I think it might be my cover. Anyways, so. <sighs> Next up. Okay, hi, here's my face. Um, this is the current situation we are at. I know my face is blown out. Um, the motherboard is installed. You can kind of see it a little bit through there. I had a bit of an issue because I used the wrong screw on the first one and then I couldn't get it out, but I got it out. It's now properly mounted. We're all good. See, screw, 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 <laughs> screw. <laughs> and um, now it is time to Start running power. What the heck is that from? Okay, that's fine. That's from the case. I'm sure we'll have to figure that out later. Anyways, <laughs> this beast for sure needs to go up and in. And it's nice because it's got this little slot right here that can sneak through. Um, but I'm going to have to do some reading <laughs> on these pieces. Uh, what are you for? Tell me, my friend. Anyways, this is the point that we are at. <laughs> and then after this, it's graphics card. And then I, thi I think it's test time. So yeah, that's, yeah. And this is what we're looking like in here. So I have 
I found the actual place that this cord was supposed to plug into. It wasn't down there, it was up there. Um, <laughs> this fan is plugged into, I'm pretty sure, the right place. This fan is also plugged into, I'm pretty sure, the right place. Now this guy has to go in there, and then I just have to figure out the rest of the power cables. Woohoo! We're making progress. <laughs> Okay, so I had to go through every single one of these cords from the power supply one by one, but I found, I'm fairly certain, the extra power supply cable. <laughs> it fits and it makes the most sense, so I'm pretty sure that's it. I also, like, arrange things a little bit better. I found a, a fan power supply there for this fan instead, because before it was going down here. So now it's uh, graphics card time, I think. And then we get to turn it on. <laughs> Also, things have just been, like, falling out over here, apparently, as I've been, um, moving the desktop around. I really like these things, but also, things fall out of them. Okay, so the graphics card is in, it is connected to the power supply. I am, I would say 98% certain that everything is in the right spot. I am feeling confident, maybe I shouldn't be, <laughs> um, especially because I was trying to install the graphics card with this cover still on it. <laughs> oh setbacks. Anyways, um, I think the next step now is I'm gonna pull my TV down get it on the desk and plugged in and um, plug this in and see if it boots. <laughs> and um, if it does, then I can finish my cable management. Although I've been kind of, this case is really great because you can see it's got like all these slots where cords can come through. So honestly, other than like these dudes here, oh, here one second, let me let you see that better. Other than like these guys here, um, overall, cable management looking pretty good. Yeah, I'd like to do something with these. Anyways, let's do the move. Okay, it's moment of truth time. <laughs> I've got this plugged in. It's still plugged in out this side in case there's issues. I've plugged in a keyboard. It should theoretically just boot to the BIOS because I don't have a operating system yet. Uh, this button... Well, we got power. Ooh, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that. And then... Oh. We got more power. Oh, things are lighting up. I'm still not seeing anything happen on the screen. Which is a little stressful. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put that on the camera and try to figure out what's going on here. The second I turned it off, it started to boot. Okay, it just took a second. Theoretically, that means the graphics card is installed properly because... Why? <laughs> I think I had to, like, hit BIOS or something. Okay, I'm gonna put this down, reboot it, and see... Oh, here we go. Press F11 for boot menu. Did that go? Okay, cool. I'm gonna install my operating system, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, so I can happily report that the operating system Windows is loaded on. It works fine. With this TV, the resolution is absolute garbage, but that is okay. Uh, we're actually going up to visit my grandma right now for a couple. So I got this hair dye for her. Um, it's purple, she asked for it. I'm not sure if it'll work. I think I mentioned it because it says not to cover grays, but you know what? We'll just see. And then when I come back, we're gonna deal with this. We'll get the case on all the way properly, fix any last minute cable management issues that I have, and, and fix this, obviously. And like, the 
network cable, which is like, just, it's a situation. It's a situation. But, success! <laughs> it's amazing! Okay, so back from going to visit my grandma and running to the store, my room is such a disaster. But, in exciting news, I can now put everything together. I got the operating system installed. It works fine. The only issue, and I knew this was going to be an issue, is the resolution is trash on this TV, um, <laughs> which is fine because one, I knew it was just going to be to make sure everything worked and figure out what size monitor I wanted. Two, I know that 32 is way too big because like that is, that's just stupid. <laughs> and I feel like I had a third point, but I don't know what it is. Anyways, I very likely might order, <sighs> sweater off. I might order a um, monitor today, at least the first of the two to three that I want. So that's where we're at. I am just, I'm so happy that it went together so smoothly. <laughs> today, it was just like zen. I was like, I got this. I know how to build a computer. I've done it before. And truly, truly, that's what it felt like. So very exciting. I did have a few little gaffes, <laughs> but for the most part, it was smooth. And um, yeah, I can put it back together properly. I can rearrange my desk and... Um, kind of ethernet cable, <laughs> run that maybe up top like I intend to, um, and then clean up the disaster that has happened over here, just because, you know, <laughs> but yeah, very excited to get this all sorted so I can plug it back in. I do have a little bit of cable management to do, but generally we are good. It is built and um, we did it. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, before we go any further, we have some plastic on here and we're gonna pull it off for the satisfying hopefully effect we ready for this <laughs> i hope the audio picks it up because i unplugged my mic <laughs> very satisfying <laughs> All right, now I'll finish plugging everything in and then we should be mostly good to go. I'm so excited. Alrighty, so it's not perfect over here, but it is a heck of a lot better than it was. I feel like this is kind of blurry. Is it blurry? I don't know. Anyways, and we've got this going. I was able to get the RAM set up with the software, but I'm struggling a bit with the motherboard and the fan, but that's okay. I have my TV here, which like, needs to go away as soon as possible because it like immediately makes me feel like I have a headache looking at it. The resolution's not great. I set up my monopod back there. I got my mic on the boom, which actually came in the mail while well, the Amazon today. And I have just been downloading stuff and um, trying to get things sorted. I got Steam downloaded. I've got my video editing program downloaded, all that fun stuff. So that is where we're at. <laughs> I'm still still try to figure out spacing. Definitely 32 inches is too big. It's making my brain hurt. It could just be the resolution, but I'm thinking probably 24, <laughs> which is great because now that I see this, I think 27 would still be too big. Anyways, 24 is on the thought process. And I think now I'm going to try to see if I can get the camera set up as a webcam and um, get Streamlabs downloaded and maybe tomorrow we can do some streaming. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. Alrighty, so it's like 20 after 11 now. It feels like it's much later because I just feel like I got a lot done today. Like built the computer, went and saw my grandma, went to the store. I ran my first stream. Honestly, it went pretty well. So I'm very excited about that. With the continuous power supply for my camera, I didn't have to worry about running out of power. And I also have this fancy little cable here that is specifically to attach the computer to my PC. It went great. I just streamed some Islanders just as like a test to see if it would work and it worked pretty well. My only issues that I have, one, I don't have a second monitor so I can see like the um, Streamlabs OBS software so I can see like what's going on and stuff. So like I had my phone following my stream and like watching and I wasn't 100% sure on the audio but I think it was okay. I think that's going to be something that I'm still going to have to work on. And then number two, this monitor that I'm using, which is my TV screen from up there, you can't see it. You're attached to the monopods. So I'm too lazy to move it right now. It is too big to be sitting this close. I hate it so much. <laughs> but I mean, with these on, it definitely doesn't make me want to like fall over immediately. So like, <laughs> that's a good thing. But probably 
I need to figure out what size I want. I'm trying to decide. I do want multiple monitors, so I'm thinking maybe getting like 224s and then going from there. And if I like that size for gaming as well as my extra monitor, then I'll just grab a third one eventually. Or alternatively, I'll get the 224s and then maybe upgrade to a 27 at the end of the day. But for now, <laughs> we're going to stick with this for, uh, you know, a little bit, but probably very soon. This is very tempted to just buy one today. Probably very soon. I just need to make that decision. There's one that I was looking at. It's on sale, I think, for another couple days, so maybe I will purchase a 24. I don't know. Anyways, that's where we're at. I think I'm going to end the vlog for today. Um, it is 11.20, like I said, <laughs> and I think I'm probably just going to watch another episode of The Newsroom. The only downside, the huge downside, <laughs> because my TV's here. I have to sit here. I can't lay in my bed, but that is okay. It's a, a burden. It's a cross I will bear today. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the PC build. It was a good time. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna try like my first like actual like lengthy day stream, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I think I'm probably gonna sleep in to be honest, but for now, thanks for being here and I will see you in the morning. <laughs> good night.